Welcome back everybody. Uh, so what, what we've got in store for you today is we do have a, an, an announcement for anybody that's uh, interested in a Neotech saw. Uh, we stay in contact with uh, Neotech pretty often. Um, but regardless, uh, we do have some information straight from Neotech uh, from the manufacturer about the availability of Neotech's products. Uh, we will have that later in the video. So. And for those of you who have been following along with us since the beginning, um, you might have seen that we had an issue with this truck. It's a 99 F250 with a 7.3 diesel in it. And if uh, you know anything about them, they're pretty reliable, but they do have some shortcomings. One of the things that you got to do on these things every couple of hundred thousand miles is change the injector o-rings which all together is not that big of a deal um, it is a pretty fair amount of disassembly on the engine but as far as getting to the injectors it's, it's pretty easy you're basically getting to your valve covers and then removing everything around them on both sides your intercooler pipes some of the heater stuff, some electrical, and all this, that, and the other. Otherwise, it's it's pretty simple. Having said all that, uh, this this machine is about to the point where I'm about to reassemble everything on the top side of the engine. Both sets of injectors have been re-o-ringed. Um, it's got new undercover wire harnesses. It also has new glow plugs it'll get a new glow plug relay it'll also get a new camshaft position sensor a couple other little items but otherwise this uh, utility truck will be back to work what this is is uh, basically a two-month review on this 872 saw and the saw has worked very well for us and what i've done is i've got it Pretty much disassembled. All I have to do is take the pieces off to show you what what I look for. But this saw has never been taken apart. Other than sharpening the chain, the saw has never been disassembled. The air filter has never been cleaned. Uh, it's probably got about 20 hours on it now. It is still running 25 to 1 fuel, and I kept meaning to change that, but it's ran pretty well for us, so I haven't changed it yet. Having said all that, let's get into uh, the pieces over here and uh, we'll discuss what I look for on just about every single saw and what you should be concerned with when it comes to maintaining your saws. Okay, here we are. We're up close with the Neotech NS872. And um, what I want to show you right here is an area you should be concerned with with any saw is... If you look right here, this is where your chain adjustment is. And so this area right here, there's a set of gears like a ring and pinion gear. And typically when they come from the manufacturer, sometimes they will have a little bit of grease on them. Sometimes they will have no grease. In this instance, when we got this machine, it had a little bit of a grease on it. But as you can tell by the, by the image that there is quite a bit more grease in there. Now I have this disassembled and it's not that hard to do it, but it is necessary to ensure that this mechanism right here, as you turn this screw, this mechanism moves back and forth. And as you can see, it's, it's still pretty tight. Um, it does function as it should. And there have been no issues with that at all. Um, with this particular saw, the sprocket is actually made on the exterior of the clutch, which is, I like that better. Um, it's, it's a one piece assembly versus a, a rim sprocket and then a clutch on top of that. But uh, this actually works pretty good for me. Uh, I really like that design. Let's go around to the front. I pulled the muffler off of the machine. And I know you can't really see inside here, so you'll just have to take my word for it. But and looking down into the cylinder, it's not, not that hard to do to remove the muffler, but in looking down the cylinder, um, you still have your cross hatches 
while you also have good compression by doing that. Your lubrication stays whenever you have your cross hatches. If you've got a nice smooth bore on the inside of the cylinder, it probably has low compression. So removing the air, air cleaner cover, this filter has never been taken off of this and it does have about 20 hours on it. There's two screws to remove or, or loosen. This one here, this one here, and I'm going to work it loose. And a lot of times people have problem with debris getting into the carburetor because the seal is not that great on some of these air filters. And as you can see right here, there we go. I've got it. All right, come on, a little bit more. There we go. All right. So if you look right here, we can see that around the contact surface right here is very clean. There's a little bit of dust right here on the top of it. And that could have been from where I was trying to work it off. But looking down inside the carburetor, as you can see down in here, there's very little in there at all. If anything, that probably fell in when I was removing the filter. So that's not too bad. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with that. This filter has never been off of it. Also, in removing the spark plug, a lot of times, I know on the Farmer Tech saws, when you go to pull the spark plug boot, the boot will come off. Then it's a pretty big pain to get this boot back on it while also conserving the contact electrode on the inside of it. This one came off typically for a normal for a normal spark plug boot. It did come, as you can see right there, that is an NGK plug. And even though I've been running it at 25 to one, if you know anything about spark plugs, that's a little on the brown side, but the chalkiness, it's a little on the white side. And you can tell right here by the contact electrode that it is a little lean. And that could be that I, I over rev them quite a bit, but um, this is not bad as far as I'm concerned. Pulling the top cover off here. And as you look down inside, now this thing has a good 20 hours of use on it. There's very little debris on the inside of this saw. All of the bolts for the cylinder were tight when I disassembled it. So let's go back over here to the clutch or excuse me, to the pull clutch. And what is a surprise to me is that how clean we are down in here. Typically, you'll have a lot of dust and debris on the inside here. You can see a little bit on the flywheel right here. Very little on the flywheel. Very little on the coil also, which is it's pretty nice. And if you look at the entire interior of the case here is a little bit of debris back here but otherwise it's very very clean like i said back here you do have some dust and it's very fine dust back here it all looks to be in really good condition so i'm pretty impressed with how it seals um, i think a good part of how it seals is if you look at your pull rope here a lot of the mechanisms that are used for the pulley are plastic this one is a pot metal I'm not really sure what kind it is but it's some kind of pot metal with a nylon dog on it and it only has one dog and evidently that's how it came but this this dog is nylon uh, I know a little bit about plastics and I know that this is nylon rather than just an ABS plastic but uh as you can tell, right here, this is actually in pretty good shape. There's very little wear on it at all. But the ceiling cover on the inside for this pull rope is very, very nice. And it's done a very good job keeping the debris on the outside. Looking at the actual pull rope itself, there's very little fraying on the pull rope. And I know that can be a problem 
with some saws, uh, a lot of a lot of times the uh, the pull rope will fray or may, might even break within the first couple of pulls. What's nice is this capsulated bushing that's right here that goes up underneath your chain brake or your kickback brake. That's pretty nice, uh, and you can tell stainless steel with a brass insert on that. That's pretty nice also. Your muffler here, as you can see, it comes with a gasket on it, which is pretty nice. And if if the gasket didn't seal well, you would see hot spots where the exhaust had came out, but clearly it, it looks like it's sealing very well. Uh, the muffler looks good, and you can tell right here it still was a little lean because of the chalkiness right here. The interior of it. Even though it's been 25 to 1, there's very little residual oil, probably because I was running it lean. Uh, the interior here, pretty much the same thing, but looks pretty good. I might actually add an extra port to it because you've only got these two little small ports right here. Otherwise, pretty impressed with the overall build of this saw right here. Okay, so back to the... Neotech NS872 and the Neotech NH841. With both of these saws, we had Neotech contact us almost three months ago. Uh, they asked us just to do a review and do a considerate review about anything that the saw will or won't do. Uh, they wanted us to be honest about that. We have, we feel like we have. But uh, having said all that, I work on chainsaws, I work on tractors, I work on things that have to do with farming and forestry nearly every single day. That's my job. And these chainsaws uh, are, are pretty impressive to me um, as far as for the inexpensiveness, the affordability of them, uh, and the capability of them. It's very nice when you consider uh, some of the alternatives out there. but. What's the big deal as far as availability? I know a lot of people have contacted us. You can't get the saw. They're not available. I know the kits are available, but an actual complete saw, they haven't been available for several weeks. Uh, two days ago, which today is Friday, uh, two days ago we were in touch with the manufacturer and asked them to give us a date when they would be available, and he did so. They should be able to be shipped within about 14 days from today. And that would be from Amazon and I believe from eBay also. Uh, another thing you can do, they do have a Facebook group now. We will put that link in the description. You will be able to contact, contact them through the WhatsApp or send them a message through Facebook for any questions or concerns that you have on the Neotech chainsaws or other equipment that they will be coming out with. Um, having said that, um, if you have the opportunity to know someone that has one of these and try it out, uh, take the opportunity and try it out. If, uh, if you want to take the opportunity and purchase one in a couple of weeks, they will be available for purchase again. Uh, we do know that in about two weeks time, they should be in the country and they should be able to ship them straight to your home just in time maybe for Christmas or maybe just in time to cut that tree down that you really, really need to get out of the way. Um, but otherwise, that is our review. Pretty impressed with the uh, two months that it has given us. It has exceeded what we wanted to do with the saws, uh, the reliability of them, the performance of them has been great. We've had no issues with either one of the saws. Um, I would recommend them as an alternative to any other chainsaw out there that you would like. Uh, but if you have any questions or any comments, uh, please like, subscribe, and share our videos, and come back and watch again. Thanks.